1995, I got my very first game console, the Super Nintendo. And as new consoles came out, I unfortunately had to trade my old ones in in order to get them. It wasn't until 2015 I said enough is enough and I stopped trading and started collecting. Hi, my name is Joe from Beeping Nerds. And my wife and I finally got out of our apartment complex, which gave us the chance to get a home and for me to get my very own game room. So let's go take a tour. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you first walk into this game room is this beautiful air hockey table, which unfortunately has been in storage for a couple of years now due to our apartment complex being so small. But now it is fully out and ready to be used. It's not as nice as the typical ones you would see at maybe Costco or any of the big sports brands type stores. However, this thing definitely gets the job done. It is used all the time by friends and family. Nephews love it, kids love it. It is an absolute treat to have and it's just something to do other than playing with the arcade or some video games. But when you're not playing with the air hockey table, you have this massive wall of video games behind me. All top brand, Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation, Sega, all of them are here represented on this shelf, including some toys and knickknacks as well. I even got some boxes way up there um, that I just couldn't, re I refused to get rid of. My favorite consoles to collect for this wall are definitely the GameCube and the Nintendo 64 as they were my childhood consoles growing up. It's what I played the most, but even though I'm a huge Nintendo fanboy at heart, I still love collecting for the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, PS2, PS3, PS1. All are here. I even have the Sega Game Gear as well as the Sega Genesis and 32X, all that. They're all represented. It's just, it's mesmerizing looking at this wall and kids love staring at it. I just reached over a thousand video games, which I know is not a lot for true game collectors. However, for me only starting a few years ago, it's grown quite substantially and I cannot wait to continue my collection. And when kids finally pick the games that they want from our wall, they can sit on this couch, put their feet up, grab a drink from the Xbox mini fridge and play on this beautiful 75 Sony TV. Um, if they're playing an HD console from the PS3, PS4, PS5, Xbox uh, 360, the series, as well as the Wii U and Switch. But if they're playing more old school games like the N64, the Wii, PS1, or original Xbox, they could play on this CRTV that's been in the family for years and years. It still works fantastic. Um, and we even have a VH, uh, VCR player so people could watch old school Pokemon. It's just a blast. And this is definitely the piece de resistance of this room. Half the time you'll see me and Bree will be sitting here. This is our computer section. We took both of our desks from our apartment and kind of just pushed them together when we got here. Um, and it's where we do a lot of our design work, uh, work on the website, um, maintain social media posts, etc. Um, so a lot of work gets done here. Um, but it's nice because it's directly behind the TV. So if the kids can still play video games, we could turn around, we'll check it out. Or if we put on a movie, um, especially during October, we like to put on Halloween movies and we could work and watch a movie at the same time. It's just perfect. Um, but my wife has a custom built PC that I made last year. I got a custom built PC that I made. I uh, was able to snag a 3090. Uh, and ov overall, it's just so much space and it's perfect. So right next to the computers, right here, this is where the computers were, we have the arcade machine, the Pac-Man arcade machine that we got a few years back, which even was featured in a Beeping Nerds video prior. Um, but this isn't a normal um, arcade one-up machine anymore. I actually, I modified it to be a two-player retro pie machine, um, which has, you know, a ton of games for kids to play. They can scroll through it. Um, it's a lot of fun. A lot of the games that are on here I own and it's just perfect. I even got the riser and I even got this cool little Pac-Man stool that goes with it. And I think it just completes this area all together and it looks amazing. Um, and it's a lot of fun to see kids play. So one of the first things you walk in next to the air hockey table has to be my Amiibo collection, which I think is just perfect for this room. I own it. Every single Smash Brothers Amiibo, even from the Steve and Alex that just came out. And my collection is actually so big, I can't show it in this entire camera shot without putting my camera all the way across my room. 
Um, but I do own all the Smash Brothers. I own all the Super Mario Zelda. The only that I'm missing are a couple of the Splatoon, a couple of the uh, Monster Hunter, as well as some of the Japanese exclusive ones that are, were not released in the US. But majority are here and yes, they are unboxed, unfortunately. Um, I do have some box ones behind me, but those are the more rare ones that are were very limited supply. But majority I wanted um, my nephews or my future kids or even just kids that come in general be able to scan these on certain games that allow them and see how what they can do. Because who knows when Nintendo will stop making Amiibo and this type of thing never happens again. So I try to collect them, I try to put them to use. And overall, I love them. So if I'm going to show off my Amiibo collection, I might as well show off my wife's uh, Disney Infinity collection. Um, we started actually, we bought the game when uh, 3.0 first came out. Uh, it was our first experience into um, Disney Infinity and my wife was hooked. She absolutely loved it um, and at the time a lot of the characters were not available anymore. Um, back when Toys R Us was still around, they had some there. Um, you could find some at Target, but they were more of the newer versions, like the Star Wars and the Marvel characters. But then GameStop started taking in um, pre-owned versions, and we were able to collect a lot of the characters from the 1.0 and 2.0 that we weren't able to get. And now we have almost all of them. I think we're only missing some of the Tron characters, um, as well as some of the Star Wars characters that I think are from the Clone Wars. Um, but overall, it, we're, we're very close. We're very close to having all of them. And it's something that even, you know, kids can, who never experienced Disney Infinity because it's, you know, discontinued, they can try something that's completely unique to Disney. So to end this video overall, I wanted to show a part of my game room that isn't strictly about games. I didn't want our room to really have a age restriction, um, meaning that I know a lot of kids don't really get into video games until they're about five or six, or at least I did personally. And I wanted, if a dad came over with a toddler or something, to be able to watch their kid and still play some games. Um, so I was lucky enough to have my parents hold on to my Thomas the Tank Engine table that I had in 1994. And uh, it's still in perfect condition, all the tracks, the trains, all original, all here. And they held on to this until the day I was able to get a space that could fit all of it. And it's honestly amazing to see such probably the most nostalgic thing that I've ever owned in this room with all my other things of nostalgia and seeing my nephews, uh, my two-year-old nephew play it, it's almost been overwhelming to see because it just gives me flashbacks of when I used to play it and just something that it lets their imagination run wild. It's not just electronics, it's something that they can play and go crazy, destroy, whatever. Um, behind us, we even have cubbies filled with um, the world of Nintendo, two-inch toys, um, some Disney stuff. So a bunch of things they can open the cubby, dump all over the floor, and have a blast. And that's what this room's about, is letting any person come in and have fun, no matter what you do. So if you tuned in to the end of this video, first of all, I want to say thank you. I know we haven't put out a lot of things this year and I deeply apologize for that. We are putting more content out. I will be doing the review of the Mario movie that's coming out tomorrow. Um, but please, if you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to us. Please hit the bell uh, button so you're notified. Like this video, share it with your friends. Uh, there's a lot of video game um, tour videos and I wanted to finally do one with me finally having a game room and I want this to expand and grow with you guys over the years and I hope to do a yearly tour video every single year with it growing and getting bigger. So thank you all for watching, stay nerdy guys and have a good one.